They're known as the laughing gurus who had joined us last year for a hilarious time on the show with their mega doses of laughter and great humor. Well, even though laughter is a mandatory prescription in the workshops they run, it is not the main cause. So how do we get these happy genes? Well, Greg Allen, GM of the Singapore Marriott, had his staff boost their happy genes in a workshop. We spoke to him along with Avi Liran and Lenny Ravitch, the optimism coaches who ran the workshop. Well, we asked them to share their secret recipe to happiness. But Greg, in your job running a hotel, I mean, it's serious business and you have, I'm sure you have lots of daily stresses. So why did you go to these guys? Why did you think, yeah, I need a bit of laughter here in the company? Well, we have around about uh, 500 associates in our hotel and they, amongst them, have thousands and thousands of interactions with our guests. We call these touch points. Mm -hmm. They have an opportunity to make their touch, this touch point uh, re really a really positive outcome for both them and for our guests and make our guests really experience some, some excellent service. But they must feel optimistic that the outcome is going to be very, very positive. And uh, Lenny and Avi uh, have done a lot of coaching with our associates to make them see, yes, there are challenges in everyday work, but if you attack them positively, then there's always going to be a great solution. So to almost see the happy side of a problem. Always. Almost. To laugh at the, the issue and say, okay, I'll help you, but not, not get all frustrated and stressed about it. I mean, I, I mean, Greg, you've put your guys through this workshop. Have you seen a, a difference, I mean, with the staff? How did they now approach uh, problems, issues? There's been a very significant difference. We did our first workshop last year, so t 12 months later. Mm -hmm. I think the, the attitude in the hotel amongst our management team is a lot more open-minded, a lot more uh, ability to think out of the box, come up with solutions. There's also more camaraderie because what Lenny and Avi make you do, they put you in some bizarre role plays and it's, it's, it's hilarious, but they put you in situations a little, little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But when the team has done that together, then they, they have a, di a different mindset and it's been very, very positive uh, in the service which we provide for our guests. So what do you do now that you wake up in the morning? Uh, I've learned a lot from both of these gentlemen. I've really you know, changed my mindset and I, I see everything in much clearer perspective now and everything's relative. Uh, I was saying to Avi earlier yesterday, m my dog got, got castrated, unfortunately, but, <laughs> but I, I was having a bit of a tough day at, at work and I just was laughing to myself saying, well, I think I'm having a tough day, but it's not half as bad as the day he's having. <laughs> You, uh, you've got to be careful. Your yeah. dog might be watching yeah, TV. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> you got to put everything in perspective. Thanks so much for coming.